Hi everyone, I'm Doug with Hanna Instruments and we're going to assemble the HI904 Coolometric Carl Fisher Titrator and take you through each step to help ensure it's set up accurately. Installation mistakes can result in damage to your equipment or introduce moisture into your sample, causing wrong readings. If you would like to have a Hanna certified technician on site to oversee your installation, you can contact us at sales at hannaints.com. Let's begin. We'll start by inspecting what comes with your Carl Fisher titration equipment. Inside, you'll find the main titration unit with the reagent exchange pump attached, the reagent adapter holder with assembly attached, the titration vessel, the waste bottle, glass desiccant cartridges, and a box containing O-rings, fittings, and everything you'll need to assemble the titrator. Remember, when assembling your Carl Fisher titrator, always wear protective gloves. We'll start by filling the desiccant cartridges. Notice the small amount of glass wool inside each cartridge. This is to keep the molecular sieves from falling out. Fill each cartridge with the supplied molecular sieves. If you have a funnel, this makes filling even easier. After filling the cartridge, screw the cap back on firmly and make sure that no sieves have lodged in the threading of the cap. Fill the ground glass desiccant tube as well and replace the plastic cap when done. Now we'll set up the beaker. You'll need the beaker support, beaker assembly, and a stir bar. First, align the beaker support with the base plate and rotate clockwise. Then, place the beaker onto the support and align the notches on top. Then, add the stir bar. Screw on the septum cap if it is not already in place. Next, we'll assemble the beaker assembly and place the remaining ground glass components. For each ground glass component, make sure to apply a thin layer of silicone vacuum grease to each joint before inserting. Using gloves, apply a thin bead of grease with one hand and use your other hand to place the component. Once the grease is applied, insert each component into the beaker assembly like this. Be careful when inserting the generator electrode that the mesh on the tip doesn't hit the side of the port when inserting. After placing the electrodes and the reagent exchange plug, insert the ground glass desiccant tube into the top. Now we'll work on the reagent exchange system. To ensure isolation of the titration vessel from ambient moisture, the vessel is only open to the atmosphere when removing or adding analyte. Begin by verifying that the appropriate O-rings are present in the screw caps of the reagent exchange adapter. Now take the reagent exchange adapter holder and push it down into the titrator body here. Grease the ground glass joint and insert it into the holder on the titrator body. Loosen the cap slightly and insert one length of the rigid blue PTFE tubing into each opening of the adapter. Next, we'll need to put together the bottle top assemblies. We need these on the waste and analyte bottles. There may be some contact with the reagents, so be sure to use the proper personal protective equipment for these steps and keep the MSDS handy. For the analyte bottle, we'll need a white PTFE bottle top, a GL45 bottle screw cap, and a desiccant cartridge with the hose barb cap. To build this assembly, remove the 10mm and 5mm fittings and O-rings from the bottle top. Start with a desiccant cartridge. Insert it through the 10 millimeter fitting and O-ring and tighten it onto the bottle top.
Next, place a GL45 clear bottle screw cap over the assembly and screw it onto the analyte bottle. Now, insert the tubing from the analyte port on the reagent exchange adapter into the 5mm fitting in red o-ring. Push the tubing down into the bottle and screw the fitting onto the bottle top. Make sure the tubing on the top goes all the way down. For the waste bottle assembly, we'll need a white PTFE bottle top, GL45 bottle screw caps, and desiccant cartridge with hose barb caps. Remove the 10mm and 5mm fittings and o-rings from the bottle top. Start with the desiccant cartridge. Insert it through the 10mm fitting and black o-ring and tighten it onto the bottle top. Next, place a GL45 clear bottle screw cap over the assembly and screw it onto the waste bottle. Now, insert the tubing from the right side port on the reagent exchange adapter into the 5mm fittings in red o-ring. Push the tubing down into the waste bottle and screw the fittings tight onto the bottle top. Make sure that the tubing on the top goes all the way down. Now we'll add the clear air tubing. These tubes are for the air pump in the waste and analyte bottles. Insert the tubing onto the desiccant caps with hose barb tops and connect it to the corresponding position on the air pump. The fill position connects to the analyte bottle assembly. The empty position connects to the waste bottle assembly. To complete assembly, plug the titrator in and flip the power switch. Once the titrator is finished booting, it will take you to the main titration screen. For questions, contact us at sales at hannahins.com. Our professional staff can help you through each step to ensure your titrator is operating properly. Thanks for stopping by and we hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to the channel for updates on products and services. To learn more about this titrator, click here.